who fuck it is, man. It's Bill Bellaby of this bitch, you heard me. You dig is bad or nah. Real quick, bro. Yo, I'm really starting to believe that everybody on the internet is just delusional, bro. <laughs> like, you niggas are extremely delusional. So I'm watching this video. It's like a, uh, maybe like a six, seven minute clip of DJU talking to Charleston White. And, bro, did he snap, bro? Like, this nigga was wild. You feel me? He calling uh, 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 Mama Duck all kinds of bitches, saying fuck King Vaughn and fuck this nigga dead ass and bit bit bop. So the shit start to get heated up, bro. Like it start to get way out of control. Like dude, he really got out his body. Like Charleston White, like that nigga really like he was mad. You you can visibly see that. So he this nigga went and got his gun. You feel me? Hosting all nigga went and got his gun and hosting all, bro came back you feel me like like i i, I kind of feel like he was opposing the threat like he was damn near threatening dj you like bro don't tell me what not to say like i'm I, like if, if it wouldn't have been like i'm gonna keep it a bean with you and this is my opinion if it wasn't for the other niggas in the room the other niggas that stood up and told him to chill like try to talk him down even though charleston white wasn't even listening to them like if it wasn't for them and DJ, you would have pressed the issue on some Chicago shit, trying to defend, you know, his Chicago people. He probably would have got shot and killed, bro. I, like, I really believe he would have shot and killed DJ, you. But here's the point. This is the main point I want to make. Niggas in the comments talking about, oh, W for, you know, it's a W for, for DJ, you for keeping his cool. Oh, I respect how you was keeping your composure. And, you know, he just sitting back, chilling while he ran in. Bro, bro, listen to what I'm telling you. Because you niggas obviously don't have no discernment. That nigga wasn't chilling, keeping his cool. That nigga wasn't keeping his composure and just laying back while that nigga was on a rant. No, that nigga was scared to death. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Man, that nigga was scared to death, as he should have been. Let, let's point that out. As he should have been. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mad nigga with a gun in your face. Well, he, he was in his face, but he had a gun in his face. What you mean? Like, he that nigga is in your vicinity. That nigga is right. You feel me? Like, in arm's reach with a gun, like, damn near threatening to shoot you. Like, you should have been scared. You can clearly see it. You can see how you, he hitting the blunt. How he, like, that nigga was scared, bro. That nigga was scared. And they probably had guns with him. His man, he probably had a gun. You never know. But you feel me? It's a nigga. Like, you got to get your shit first. You might not even get your shit in time. Like, so I'm only saying is, like, you niggas just be delusional. That nigga, that was not, what you seen DJ you doing was not keeping his composure. It was not keeping his cool. It was, that was, that was, he was afraid, bro. He was afraid. That nigga probably feared for his life. Like, you can, when you, like, bro, that's one thing about energy, bro. You can't fake energy, bro. You can tell when a nigga is being fake tough. You can tell when a nigga is woofing. He felt that nigga energy, and he felt that that shit was real. I felt it through the watching it on YouTube. He was right next to the nigga, so I know he felt that shit was real. That nigga was scared, bro. And I'm not clowning him. I'm clowning the motherfuckers in the comments who don't have discernment. That nigga was scared. He was scared to death fuck is you geeking for? <laughs> you mad or no?